Alright guys, I'm in a dark room. I'm shining a light from over here on one of the forks of art that I've done in years past. And I got the light way over here so it doesn't show on the picture itself. This is the only way I could really uh, show this picture. This is Auspice Tucro, meaning Follow Tucker. Got runes up there. Some of you may know what that means. If you figure it out, let me know. It's my family crest right there. The one variant. French. Of course, my name. Diligante Domine. See what that means? I've put quite a few words in here. You can pause and check out what everything says. Another variation of my family crust. Hopefully you can see this pretty good. This took me three years to complete. On and off. Didn't do it all at one time. Did this while I was in the Army. When I returned to active duty in 1995, I had already started this with the basic sword, which is my claymore that you've probably seen in the man cave and I have decorated it with different things you'll probably never be able to pick up all the detail that's actually in this thing but I did hide a whole bunch of stuff in here I'm sorry the uh, The glass itself is quite dusty. I haven't done any house cleaning in a long time. Over here you see this little scroll on the side. Of course you're not going to be able to read it. It is way too small. But it tells you the dates and different places that I was at in the army when I did different parts of this picture. Let me try to get out here as far as I can so you can see how big this thing really is. It's about two and a half about four and a half feet long. You can see the fleur de lis gold leafed uh, frame I put it in, or my wife actually put it in. Hopefully you can see some of the shading from the detail, I did a lot of pointillism, little tiny dots to do a lot of the shading, especially on the sword. Some of the darker colors are actually in the piece itself, the different uh, brown colors. Those are from the uh, 
paper itself discoloring over time before I had it mounted. And of course you can see the uh, creases. I used to fold this piece up while I was traveling to my different posts. And when I finished, my wife had it mounted. You can see down here at the bottom of the sword where my technical pen kind of burped on me. And that happens ever so often with technical pens. Some other little dragon by his feet there. And on this side is a dog. This one up here is a lion. Alright guys, just wanted to show this. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Welcome back guys. This is another picture that I've drawn. This is in pen and ink and colored pencil. This is my actual family crest or one variant actually. Maybe I can get far enough away to see the whole thing. There you go, that's pretty cool. Alright, talk to you guys later. Alright guys, one more thing I wanted to show you. This is the a Tucker variant crest that is accepted by the College of Arms of Heraldry. This is a panel that I carved. Let's see if I can get up close and so you can see the details. And this is a crest from a city in Germany. I made this for my wife. You can see all three of them. Alright guys, thanks for watching.